behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Wrestling over refunds. Students in a suburban high school choir are feeling heartbreak all over again. Yeah, their chance at a performance of a lifetime canceled, yet they're still paying for it. Morning Insider Lauren Victory looks into why some costs can't be recovered. All really cool stuff and word, yeah. You can see the disappointment on Paige Adcock's face. She should be waking up in New York City this morning. Which would have been really cool because it's Times Square. COVID-19 canceled her trip. On the exciting itinerary, a chance for Paige and the Plainfield East High School Choir to perform at Carnegie Hall. I mean, once in a lifetime for these kids to be able to sing on stage. Mom Brandy was supposed to chaperone. Paige saved up money. Sold, you know, little crocheted purses and, and pens. For more than a year, Joelle Sisto's sophomore did too. She's been wanting to go to New York forever. Now the choir is singing the blues and for more than one reason. Students are out more than 400 bucks because the trip isn't being fully refunded by the tour company Entourage Management. For us to not get back a third of the money that we paid is very frustrating. What are the companies that are still holding out? So for us, um, so Choirs of America is a big portion of this refund. Entourage management owner Lena Molke says the organizer of the singing festival is currently keeping $250 per student. Choirs of America tells CBS2 that's because it's waiting on a refund from Carnegie Hall. The group will keep some cash for administrative expenses. Entourage management will too. We have a cost for the registration system that we're using. Um, we have a cost for credit card fees for the payments that they have made for us. Our whole industry imploded in a matter of hours. I understand we can't or won't be able to get back every single penny. While frustrated Plainfield East parents are trying to be sympathetic, Paige is trying to keep spirits bright thinking about the meaning behind another song her choir's been working on. They believe in all the good in the world, even though all the horrible stuff was happening around them. How relevant. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. The bus company, Broadway, Marriott, and more have already forked over the student's deposit. CBS 2 asked Carnegie Hall about its refund policy, but never heard back.